Hi and welcome to the pythonspot.com learn python series. In this tutorial we will get into creating objects. So what an object is, is a collection of, of data and functions. Um, for example we could have an object um, James which is a, a certain user. Um, and of course objects need to be created uh, from something. Python needs to know how to do that. So we create classes. Classes are used to create objects. So we have a class with a name and uh, we also have an initialize. So this is how you define the initialize function that is called um, when um, an object is created so now we can create objects uh, with the class user we specify a name um, and thus the, we'll call this uh, function or method uh, which then sets the name variable and we can create a variety of, uh, of objects so any function, any objects you want, and it doesn't output anything when we run it, but we could add a print function here, uh, just so you see that the method is called. So actually, we create an object, an object with a name an object of the type user. And so once we run it we see the two objects are created. This is what we do here. And we can use um, multiple functions. So uh, let's say um, print uh, name and always add the self uh, word in there when using classes. So now we can call the the function print name for any object. And see that doesn't work. In space. We always have to use the four spaces. Uh, so we have two objects, James and Sandra, and every object has one or zero or more methods or functions. In this case, we have the function print name and the function init, uh, which is called upon creation by definition. Now, of course, we can also call James print uh, dot uh, print name. Um, and we can also create uh, objects in a loop. So we create a loop from 0 to 10. Um, an object is created uh, inside the loop, and it also only exists inside the loop. So 10 uses are created uh, inside the loop with the name i, variable i, which is 0 to 10. Of course, every object can call a name. So they are named after numbers. But yeah. um, so that sums it up. The class always holds uh, variables and uh, methods. And the class can be used to create objects uh, as simple as such.